so in addition to the show, they opened up their shop and I uh, wanted to show you a little bit of the skunk works uh, that's going on at Cobb Motor Square. Let's check it out. Volkswagen Passat, as you guys know, and at first I'm like, I don't know if this car, you know, fits in with all the others, but then it had a spoiler, so it was all good. So this car, um, a counterpoint, does not have a spoiler, so I was trying to investigate what brought them out tonight. Carbon fiber. One of two Focus RSs in that same blue that I'm about to be run over. This is what I do for you guys, I risk death. Downforce is crazy. A lot of arrow. You have to wonder about the drag that that arrow is putting on the car. But well, you must display a front license plate. A lot of people put it up in their windows, you know, things like that. That's pretty creative. If, if you know the owner of this car, tag them. I want to know if they get away with that. Because uh, it's not super visible, which kind of defeats the point. But I thought it was clever. SS, what I thought was funny is um, obviously you can tell an actual Holden by right hand drive. Evidently the dealers are starting to do this for people as like a something when they get it. And I think it does, it, it definitely makes it pop more in the Chevy SS. I'm not sure why Jim didn't brand this as a Holden here. The easiest way to tell other than the right hand drive, uh, if they imported like a left hand drive one from some country where they do that, uh, is often people will not switch the steering wheel logo. Civic SI, which as you guys probably have heard, has the same amount of power as the new Civic Si. Honda, you're moving backwards. It's leaving. I think that's stock exhaust. Got a BMW project going on here. That exhaust is pretty nice looking. Can't see up to the engine if anything else is done besides that exhaust. So, uh, like my camera assistant says, the boat on top is interesting. I guess they're getting their exhaust swapped and then having some other work done as well. Wow, that, if that's the exhaust going on there, that's gonna be a, a big difference. Wow. 
for people who, ah, maybe I should have gotten the RS, maybe I need a little more, there's this guy. Not sure what's being done to it, I would assume an exhaust, because it's not the loudest car. The brakes are still the Porsche brake. Looks like maybe some suspension work. I always thought this car had a pretty good suspension, so that kind of surprises me. They got not one Evo, but two Evos they're working on. This one looks like, I don't know if they're going to do an engine swap or what, but... Very cool.